Hello everybody, it's Khalif PvP bringing you another MMO video. This time I'm bringing the game Black Desert Online. I know a lot of you probably already know about this game, already played this game. So for those of you that don't, it's a sandbox oriented MMO uh, developed by Korean developer Pearl Abyss and it should be in open beta slash closed beta by the end of this year, 2015. So this video I want to talk about certain concepts that I think is very refreshing to see in uh, Black Desert Online because I think it's gonna further the MMO genre that has been somewhat stagnated in the previous years. So I want to kind of make a quick video about a couple things that I like. Uh, there's some things that I didn't really make the cut, some of them being the lovely class system. Um, Black Desert Online has a really great class system where it's not your typical assassin archer, warrior, blah blah blah. Um, they have some co couple cool cla concepts like the, I think it's the sorcerer, which is kind of like a mid-range melee uh, mage of sorts. Um, and they also have like the samurai class that I'm playing right now. Um, they do have your typical uh, assassin class that they just released in the Korean game version. Um, so overall, I, I really like the you know the class system. There's other bunch of other systems that are um, that I'll be talking about. So let me know what you guys think about the list that I've compiled about you know things that I'm excited for. So one of the things I love about this game so far is how lively it feels. So if you ever go into a town, and actually even on the roads you will see, um, unlike other games where NPCs are just standing around just waiting for the player to interact, in this game it feels as if the NPCs are in a real life world, as, as if I'm part of a real online world. You see NPCs moving about, you see the markets hustling and bustling, um, you see traders that you send, uh, you see traders that other people send to trade between uh, towns. You, you'll see them all interacting. So like this guy for example, he's, he's just carrying a wheelbarrow around. This dog, this random dog is just walking. He's no other purpose for this dog other than to make this world feel alive. And that to me is uh, something that's really cool. Uh, something that makes you feel oh, look um, I'm sitting down I'm just I didn't really do anything I didn't click anything I'm sitting down and interacting with this environment interacting with this world making making it look like I am part of this living breathing world and that to me is um, I haven't really seen this much in um, all the MMOs I played Sword to War which I think got a really big boost in, in terms of like storyline making the feel making the player feel important but this in black desert online the player is 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 in a living world and you feel that with um with everything that you see you see the world changing in front of you and that to me is uh, i think is a really nice step a uh, really refreshing step in the right direction Ah yes, graphics. This is one of the best looking MMOs out ever. If you were to put this game side by side with AAA single player games that are graphic heavy such as Elder Scrolls, Skyrim, um, Witcher 3, this game would be very on par with those games. And that's saying a lot because a lot of MMOs, they usually cut corners when it comes to graphics. In this game, the animations, if you can see it, the animations are beautifully done. Um, as long as I've played it, I haven't seen any animations that are being kind of cloned. In other MMOs, we've seen that you know certain skills will realistically look just like. But in this game, most of the animations, at least I've seen, are very unique, and that's saying a lot. Um, it does have its own. I guess it might have some draw drawbacks if you have a really crappy quality graphics card. But overall, I think majority of the players will be in favor of higher quality graphics. So one of the things I really like about this game is its combo system. So all its skills are actually hotkeyed into a certain set of button smash. 
combination. So it's very similar to Final Fantasy Online, um, Terra Online, where it's an action MMO. You get, you have to target your skills. You don't have to. There's no tab targeting, um, and you have to manually aim where your skills are hitting. The difference between Terra and this particular game is that you actually have, you know, most of your skills are comboed into a, cert, a set of button combinations. Whereas Terra, you can kind of just drag it to your hotbar and then just cast that skill. Uh, in this one, you there is a hotbar that you can use, but only certain skills are hotbarable. Um, most of your skills you, you're going to have, especially if you want to use it in very, um, you know, a, a chain combination, you have to be kind of, you know, familiarize yourself with these button uh, combos for these skills. So I, I really like that. It's very refreshing. You do, I don't think I've seen a game that did this uh, other than Final Fantasy, if I remember correctly. So that was my first one that when I started playing, I was like, wow, this is really awesome. Ah, yes, parkour. So this is something that I've seen very unique to an MMO. I've never seen this in an MMO. In Black Desert Online, unlike other MMOs, where, for example, in in World of Warcraft, in Aeon, in Terra, in any other MMO that you can think of, if I want to get up to that roof of that house, I would have to kind of, you know, jump. It's a standard jumping. Um, I would try to maybe kind of glitch jump onto this little barrel, glitch jump onto that ledge and climb up. In Black Desert Online, all I had to do is get close to this thing, let's line up close to that thing, let's see if I can get it lined up. There we go. I think this one right around here. And there it goes. Parkour kicks in and I just kinda climb onto this ladder. Or well, kind of that thing. For so, if I was up here, let's see if this is climbable. Yep, there we go. You can see that your character actually interacts with the world. You're not just again very disconnected from the 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 game world that you're living in. Your character interacts with it. If this there's a block, like you know, a wall or a hurdle, your character will actually climb that hurdle. And here's another little thing with the parkour system that I. Let's try to repeat that. Um, if you kind of get close to the edge, you kind of do that, oh no, falling. Um, you can see that your character, you know, in, in another MMO, you would just kind of just fall. Uh, in this game, it, it actually interacts. Let me see if I can get up here. Yep. I think I should be able to get up here. Here. There we go. So yeah, again, here you can kind of jump up and then grab onto that ledge, climb up here, climb this thing, oh, missed that one, but I could have, should have probably been able to jump up there as well. So yeah, the parkour system is really, really new in an MMO, um, it'll be really exciting to see how that works out in, I guess, endgame PvP, endgame dungeons, if there are some, I don't think there are, but if there are dungeons, you know, how, do, how, the, how this parkour mechanism uh, plays out. And, if not for Black Desert, um, maybe another game will implement the parkour system and have that feature built into, you know, the core gameplay mechanics where in, in a dungeon you now have to use parkour to get, uh, get somewhere.